I sing good one time. Good morning to you. That's right. Good morning to you. It's a brand new day for music, and I'm ready to rock with you. Good morning to you. All right, let's open in prayer at Kids Alive. We always start with prayer. That's right. Let's say a prayer together. God, thank you so much for your amazing love for us. Thank you for dying to take away our sins. Thank you for being a God who's close to us, that sticks closer than a brother, Lord. And thank you that you have got a plan and a purpose for our lives. You're teaching us about your plans this week, Lord God, and how to be so we can hear your voice and know your plans. And I pray that you'd continue to use your word to guide our hearts to you to make us more like you in every way, Lord God. I pray that our worship would be pleasing to you, that our songs would be joyful and resonate with the goodness of God. And I pray that your protective hand would be around us, that you'd surround us by your Holy Spirit, surround us with your angels, and keep us safe from everything that could hurt us. Thank you for protecting us. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here today. Have your way in us. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, now let's sing a song together. Are you ready? Let's sing. Psalm 119 verses 105 says, Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path wherever I'm going. Let's memorize the scripture by singing the song. Great singing, everybody. Good job. Hey, Scripture Squirrel and I want to do a memory verse with you guys today. Are you ready for that? All right, get your thinking cap on. Let's let's think and try to memorize these words. Scripture Squirrel, are you ready to go? I'm ready. Let's do this. All right, buddy. What's the verse for this week? It's Proverbs 1921. What's it say? Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Very good. Very good, Scripture Squirrel. All right. Is there anything else you want to say to the kiddos today? Hmm. Yes, one more thing. Hi, kids. I love you. Thank you, Scripture Squirrel. What a helpful fellow you always are. And let's do our Bible study from the Fire Bible for Kids devotional. This one's called God's Plans Are the Best. Proverbs 19.21 says, Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. So let me ask you a question. Have you ever gotten sick and thanked God that you got sick? Hmm, not usually. We usually say, God, please heal me. I don't feel good. Please, God, take away my sickness. We don't usually say, oh, thank you, God. But this story is about somebody that had ended up thanking God for sickness. And this 
Listen to this. Have you ever heard of the, the ship called the Titanic? The Titanic was a great ocean liner in 1912 that it was supposed to be the best, most unsinkable ship ever. And it was the marvel of its time, the most technologically advanced uh, ocean vessel that had ever been created. Well, um, it was going on its first journey from England to New York. Reverend J. Stuart Holden had a ticket for the ship. He was a pastor, and he was supposed to speak at a large Christian convention in America. But one day before the Titanic sailed, his wife got sick. How disappointed he must have been. He had to cancel his plans. He wasn't going to be able to go to America and speak at the, at the revival, at the convention. And so he was probably really sad. Well, on April 15, 1912, the ship hit an iceberg and sunk, and many of the people died. Imagine how Reverend Holden uh, felt after he realized what had happened, how God had protected he and his wife from being on that vessel that was bound to be sunk. Well, God has a purpose for everything, even for you. His plans are a lot bigger than yours or mine, and he understands things that are going to happen down the road. We can trust God. We make our plans, but the Lord's plan always prevails. So the best thing to do is to ask God to have his way and then to try to follow in what he says to do, not to make any plans without consulting him and without giving him the ability to shape the plan and take you on the path he wants you to be on. That's the best way to go. Then you avoid a lot of disappointment because we make our plans, but the Lord's plan prevails. Let's pray and thank God for his plan. Lord, thank you so much that you have a plan. Uh, in Jeremiah 29, 11, it says, Behold, the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. And God, you are faithful to carry out your plans. Even when our plans fail, even when things seem to go wrong, you are always good. You are always working together for our good because we love you and we're called according to your purpose. Please carry us forward with your plan today. We surrender our plan to yours. Take our plan and make it your plan. Use your plan to make our lives better. We love you, God. We want to serve you. Help us today. In Jesus' name, amen. Good job, everybody. Well, let's go out with a blessing and a song. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine on you and give you peace. May the Lord lift up the height of his countenance on you. May the Lord protect you and keep you safe from all harm and trouble. In Jesus' name, amen. Romans 8, 28 says, We know that in everything, God works for the good of those who love him. They are the people God called, because that was his plan. We know that in everything,